Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arsenal starts set to sign a new long-term deal. There is great news emerging on Friday morning for Arsenal fans, as reports suggest that Rhys Nelson is set to sign a new contract at the club. Arsenal have been in discussions for a while now with Nelson. His current contract is due to expire this summer, and he could well have left on a free transfer. Now, the Athletic have reported that Nelson is about to agree a new contract at the Gunners. It's said to be a four-year deal for the 23-year-old. The new contract is also due to recognize Nelson as an important member of the Arsenal squad. The same report from the Athletic states that this new deal will take some weight off of the club's shoulders. This is great news for the club. Nelson had been linked with a move away, with the report claiming that Brighton were wanting to sign him. The Englishman, who has had to bide his time to be recognized by Mikel Arteta, has shown glimpses of his quality when selected this season, notably scoring a great late goal against Bournemouth. Nelson has grabbed five goal contributions in the ten Premier League games he has featured in. All of these appearances have been from the bench, with Arsenal competing in the Champions League next season, they need to make sure they have a solid squad instead of a good starting eleven and little depth. Nelson has proved that he can make a positive contribution from the bench, and this could be a key player for the club next season. The 23-year-old, who is a product of the Arsenal Academy, should no doubt get even more game time next campaign after signing this new deal. Signing him on a four-year deal is a huge statement of intent from the Gunners. It shows that they believe he has the potential to be a key cog in the Arsenal machine. It's no shock to see him be awarded this deal as Arteta hailed Nelson this season and said he was a really important player. Key £160,000 a week Arsenal man in talks over a new contract. The latest reports are suggesting that Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta is in talks with the club's board to renew his contract. According to Football Transfers, Arteta and Arsenal have started this contract talks recently. His current contract expires in 2025. The report claims the new contract that the Gunners hierarchy wants to give the manager would run until 2028. Arsenal's board reportedly believe he is the right man to keep them progressing. As such, they want to reward him with a new deal. The club are hoping to complete contract negotiations and have a new deal agreed before their pre-season start in mid-July, added the report. The Spaniard, who is already on £160,000 a week, caused somewhat of a shock this season as he led Arsenal to a second-placed finish. It's the first time they have finished in a Champions League position since 2016, and they were top of the Premier League for over 200 days. It makes sense to reward Arteta with a new deal. He has massively improved the Gunners since he took over, and they are now title challengers. With him doing well, the club will want to create a long-term project around him, aiming to keep him and build a team with him at the helm for the next five years makes perfect sense. They can focus on transfers for the present and the future, with a young squad already at the club, with many have world class potential, there is something very exciting happening at the club. Arsenal star wants to fight for his place at the club. The latest report suggests that Arsenal defender Cedric Soros wants to fight for his place at the club, following his loan spell at Fulham. It was reported by the Standard that the right-back now wants to stay at the Gunners and fight for his place when he returns. Arsenal loaned Cedric out to fellow Premier League side Fulham in January 2023. The 31-year-old was struggling for game time at the Gunners and looked like a good move for the club. Since the move, it has not gone well for Cedric. He has only played eight times and feature it for 286 minutes in total. It's probably quite a shock for some Arsenal fans to see the £100,000 a week star wanting to fight for his place. Ben White has made the right-back spot his own. This, combined with the fact that Mikel Arteta allowed him to go on loan in January, would show that the Gunners do not feel like he has the quality to succeed at the club. 
it has also been reported that Cedric is one of the players that Arsenal want to sell this summer. They are looking to sell some players and bring in some top quality to try and challenge for the Premier League again. Cedric, who won Euro 2016 with Portugal, seems somewhat at a loss as he will no doubt sit on the bench for a lot of the campaign should he stay. We'll see what happens. His contract runs until next summer, so he may very well stay. However, the likelihood is he won't get much game time. Arsenal reportedly eyeing 34 cap defender, likened to Per Mertesacker. Arsenal have been linked with Edmo Tapsoba for a long time, and speculation is now doing the rounds again. According to Fabrizio Romano, Gunners scout have been monitoring the Bayer Leverkusen star in recent games, as well as Arsenal. Rivals Tottenham Hotspur are apparently eyeing Tapsoba as well. Romano, writing on Twitter, said the race for the 24-year-old is absolutely open, but may require a huge bid. Arsenal could certainly do with bolstering their defensive ranks ahead of the new season. The Gunners lost William Saliba and Takahiro Tomiyasu to injury, which proved critical for their title hopes. With that in mind, Mikel Arteta will no doubt look to increase his strength and depth at the back. Tapsoba would be a great shout for Arsenal. He has the perfect blend of talent, physicality, experience, attitude and years ahead of him. At 24, his prime years as a defender are still to come, but he has over 130 competitive appearances for Leverkusen. This season alone, Tapsoba has made 46 appearances for his club, clocking up almost 4,000 minutes of football. Tapsoba, who stands 6 feet and 4 inches tall, also has 34 caps for Burkina Faso and 32 senior appearances for Vitoria Guimarães last year. The Bundesliga website sang his praises, calling him a powerful and super quick defender with a frightening heading abilities. They also compared Tapsoba to Jerome Boateng and loaded his incredible composure, speed, strength and exceptional passing ability. Arsenal look to sign a 28-year-old Serie A star on a bargain. Arsenal are reportedly interested in signing the Juventus midfielder Adrian Rabiot at the end of the season. The 28-year-old will be a free agent in the summer, and the Gunners are hoping to secure his services. It's no secret that Arsenal will have to bring in more quality and depth in the middle of the park, and they have been linked with the players like Declan Rice as well. A report from Vigaches claims that Rabiot is one of the names on their wish list this summer. The French international has been a key player for a club and country, and he could improve Arsenal in the midfield. The 28-year-old is at the peak of his career right now, and he could make an immediate impact in English football. Rabiot has the technical and physical attributes to thrive in the Premier League, and he could be the ideal partner for Thomas Partey at the base of Arsenal's midfield. The 28-year-old is a reliable passer, and he will help out defensively as well. Furthermore, Rabiot can chip in with goals. He has scored 11 goals across all competitions for the Italian club this season. He was a key player for his country in the recently concluded World Cup, and he helped France reach the finals of the competition. There is no doubt that the 28-year-old has the ability to succeed at a top club like Arsenal, and signing a player of his ability and experience on a free transfer could prove to be a masterstroke from the Londoners. French football expert offers advice to League One wonderkid amid Arsenal transfer links. Arsenal have been linked with an interest in Montpellier forward Eli Wahi ahead of the summer transfer window, but French football expert Jonathan Johnson thinks another kind of move might make more sense first. Writing in his exclusive Cout of Sight column, Johnson explained that despite apparent interest from the likes of Arsenal and Tottenham, it would probably make sense for Wahi to move to a finishing school club first as he doesn't quite look ready for one of the elite sides in the Premier League. He said the following, Eli Wahi is an interesting player who is starting to attract a lot of interest after his fine form with Montpellier this season. Still only 20 years of age, the forward has 17 goals and 5 assists in Ligue 1, and there is a growing interest from clubs across Europe. 
German clubs often keep an eye on League One with the success of players like Moussa Diaby and Randall Kolomowani and Wahi is the latest coming up on their radars. There have also been links with Arsenal and there was seemingly heavy interest from Tottenham a few months ago, though that's dead down now that the club have fallen out of contention for a Champions League place. Wahi is very highly rated and there are clubs in League One keeping an eye on him as well to potentially see if they can move him out of Montpellier. He has said on record that he'd be open to staying in France for a bit longer, so that could be one to watch. My feeling is that he is a raw talent and he could perhaps do with going to a club who'd act as a sort of a finishing school for him before moving to a top Premier League club. With regards to those links to Arsenal, it's becoming increasingly clear that they are ready to offload Fuller and Balogun this summer, so I don't see the logic in them filling in his position in the squad with someone like Wahi, who needs to keep on applying somewhere where he will be first the choice. There is no doubting his talent and goal-scoring ability. He is a real predator who knows how to put the ball in the back of the net and that's going to be extremely valuable for a number of clubs. But whether he stays at Montpellier or goes elsewhere, he needs to start and if he goes to Arsenal, that would not be guaranteed. Manager suggest 55 million pound midfielder could now leave amid Arsenal links. Arsenal are just one of the clubs reportedly eyeing Chelsea's Mason Mount. The Gunners are seemingly looking to bolster their midfield ranks ahead of an exciting season next term. Arsenal will want to strengthen to compete for the Premier League title again, as well as in the Champions League. According to The Athletic, The Gunners and Liverpool, they are very much still in the race for Mount. This is despite Manchester United appearing as the front runners for his signature at this moment in time. A recent report in the Daily Mail claimed the Red Devils were redying a £55 million bid for the England international. Now Chelsea interim boss Frank Lampard has admitted that there is a good chance Mount may leave this summer. Fabrizio Romano relied what the Blues caretaker told the Sky Sport ahead of Man United versus Chelsea. He said, In the old days it would be like, why are you leaving? You shouldn't. But in the modern day, a lot of players are leaving. It's just a shame that maybe we have got into a situation where it looks like it's maybe happening now. Mount's contract expires next summer and there hasn't been any significant movement on his spending a new one. With Arsenal and other top Premier League clubs angling for new midfielders, Mount's name is likely to be doing the rounds a lot on the rumor mill. As Granit Xhaka is leaving, the Gunners have a pressing need to bring in reinforcement in the middle of the park. Arsenal may not be favourite for Mount's signature, but you can't rule them out, particularly after the amazing season they have had. Rai Parlor thinks Manchester United could blow Arsenal out of the water for one summer target. Former Arsenal midfielder Rai Parlor has claimed that there will be nothing Arsenal will be able to do if Manchester United ramp up their effort for Declan Rice. Rice is believed to be on the radar of a number of big clubs this summer. Arsenal have been considered favourites for some, but West Ham want £100 million plus for Rice and some have suggested the Gunners won't go that high. And speaking on Talk Sport this morning, Parler believes Arsenal will have a ceiling that Man United could go above. Rice is in a fine position. Heading into the summer, he can pretty much cherry pick which club he goes to in the end. But it will come down to money for West Ham. And speaking to Talk Sport, former Gunner Parler believes it's Man United who could have the financial power to do the deal. He said, Declan's got a big decision about what he wants to do if he wants to stay in London, then Arsenal is a good move for him, but Manchester United are a massive club, so when they come knocking on the door and with West Ham, they want to get the best deal for themselves, so it's all about what the deal is on the table. Man United can probably pay more money than Arsenal, if I am being honest. It will be interesting to see what Declan does. There is always a valuation and it can go over the top. I think Arsenal will have their ceiling and if Manchester United come and break that by £20 million or whatever, then you can't do anything about that. 
Despite Parler's claim here, you do feel that Clan Rice will get a say on where he goes. Sure, he'll want to ensure the Hammers get the best possible deal, but in reality, he will also want to pick where he goes. It seems Arsenal have done enough groundwork and graft here to get this deal done. They showed last summer they will pay for players as well if they really want them. For now, Arsenal are in charge, but Parlor does make a good point about United's size, and if they add a few more before Rice joins, then he could well see Old Trafford as appealing. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.